Neharika. You know, these days to stay fit, I have taken up swimming. And uh, though I'm not great at it, so I can definitely not teach you how to swim. But what I can help you is with uh, some phrases to talk about swimming. So yes, swimming is a great exercise because it involves a lot of rhythmic and coordinated movements of almost all your body parts. So let's have a look that what are some phrases that you can use when you have to talk about swimming. Now, if you decide to go for swimming or go for a swim, then these are some phrases that you can use. You can always say, okay, let's go for a swim. Okay, if you've met up friends and you decide that you want to go swim, then you can always use this phrase by saying, go for a swim. There's another phrase here that is take a dip. So, which means you can use this by saying, oh, I'm just going to go take a dip in the pool or I'm just going to go take a dip in the ocean. Okay, so if you were at the beach, you can always say, well, I'm just going to go take a dip at the beach. Okay, so this is the phrase that you can use. And another way of saying is, I'm going to go jump in the pool. Okay, so if you're with your friends, you are at the pool and you feel like swimming, then you can say that I'm going to go jump in the pool. Let's have a look at some more phrases. So when we go swimming, there are various styles that can be performed. So let's have a look at the different styles. We have a breaststroke. Breaststroke is a little difficult one. It's a great technique though. Well here, breaststroke is performed uh, with the face down in the water, okay? And uh, your legs perform a whip kick. Whereas your arms stay under the water and you kind of push the water towards you, okay? So, and that happens simultaneously. It's not when you move one hand and then the other goes later. Well, it is together, okay? And of course, you do not move your torso, right? So that is breaststroke. You can also keep your head elevated, but that gets a little difficult. So usually people do it face down. Then we have butterfly stroke. Again, it's pretty difficult. I mean, especially for me because I am good at freestyle and that's about it. So we have butterfly stroke, which is um, where your legs perform a dolphin kick. And whereas your hands move in a semicircle manner, okay? So like this, so you kind of push the water in this manner, okay? So that is a butterfly stroke. And then we have a freestyle, and freestyle is pretty common. It's used by most of the swimmers who perform in Olympics and uh, in all of these swimming competitions. It's quite a common one. And in fact, you can swim really fast if you perform this style. And what is a freestyle stroke? Well, it is uh, basically kicking your legs and uh, alternatingly using your hands to push the water uh, towards you, okay? And it is pretty commonly used. And of course, I am also good at it. So there are various of styles, but these are the common ones that people do perform. And now let's have a look at what are the types of water that you can get into while swimming. Now, there are various places that you go swim at. We have a public and a private pool. A public pool is, of course, available for everybody. Either there's a certain cost to it or at times it's even free. But it is accessible for everybody, okay? So that's what is a public pool. And we also have private pools. Uh, private pools are, uh, you know, at resorts or the hotels. They all have a private pool, okay? Then we have an indoor pool that you can go swimming. Indoor pool is uh, a pool which is uh, built up in a building, okay? And that's what we call it as indoor pool. We also have kiddie pool. Well, there are two types of kiddie pools. Uh, one is a kiddie pool that wherein, you know, you buy it from a supermarket and just put it in your yard, fill up water, 
okay you need to inflate it and then fill up water it's not too deep it's fun for the kids but we also have these big pools and we have a small section which is not really deep and it's just perfect for the kids to swim in so that is also called as the kiddie pool and then we have beach lakes and rivers of course it's not just the swimming pools that we can swim but we can also go swimming or take a dip at the beach or at the lake or at the river but always be careful if you're not very good at swimming always be careful okay and now let's have a look at certain swimming gears that we use when we go swimming now there are certain swimming gears that we need to use when we go take a dip in the pool of course you can't jump into the pool in your clothes right in your denims and in your t-shirts okay that's not the right outfit to jump in the pool so let's have a look what we got to use for men they use trunks or speedos okay usually trunks Speedos are these little tight pants which are usually used by competitive swimmers, okay? It's not used by everybody. It's mostly used by the competitive swimmers and uh, trust me, they look a little odd, okay? So, and trunks are these regular tight pants which dry quickly, okay? The material that is used to make these trunks, they dry pretty quickly. For women, they use bathing suits. So bathing suits, either they use a bikini, okay, which is uh, a set of two piece, okay, and or they use a one piece bathing suit, so which basically covers your chest and your stomach area also, okay, so that's for women. And then we have swim goggles. Swim goggles are used by most of the swimmers and uh, definitely they look a little funny because they're really tight they get a good grip on your eyes but uh, no water cannot enter your eyes so that's exactly why usually the swimmers use these goggles for then we also have floaties floaties are air filled uh, floats that are used by beginners the people who are just learning to swim are also used by most of the kids okay it protects them from not drowning in the water okay helps them to take a good balance and that's how they end up learning to swim so that's what floaties are then we also have a lifeguard i think i can call him as a lifesaver too a uh, lifeguard is a person he's an expert swimmer okay who is employed to watch over all the swimmers maybe at the pool or at the beach okay so he's the one who watches over all the swimmers so if in case there's an emergency someone is drowning he is the man or he is the person who would go save that person's life who would save him from drowning and the last one we have over here is a swim instructor or we also call him as a swim trainer okay so they are the people who train people how to swim so usually when kids or even adults who want to learn to swim they hire a swim instructor or a swim trainer so that they learn how to swim so these are a couple of words and phrases that would help you to talk about swimming hope this lesson is helpful for you and i will see you soon in your next lesson till then you take care